Welcome back to 20 Clinical Pearls in 20 Days. Today we're going to talk about why thyroid hormone labs don't measure up or correlate with intracellular levels when this one thing happens. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. And it's kind of important if you're a practitioner. You know that the thyroid makes thyroid hormone, T4, thyrox, and it gets converted to T3 by an enzyme called deiodinase T2. Now this is very watered down. D2 or type 2 deiodinase. It can convert into reverse T3, which is inactive thyroid hormone by D3. Now, again, this is very watered down. It happens in a number of different tissues around the body. But for simplicity's sake, D3 is like the break. It makes more reverse T3, which is an inactive form of thyroid hormone. And D2 is like a gas pedal. So it's going to crank up the T4 to T3 conversion and try to increase metabolism. Now, when we run thyroid labs, total and free T4, total and free T3, maybe reverse T3, in the blood, what we're really trying to do is get a reflection of what's happening inside of the cell. And we hope that it correlates. Now, according to this super awesome paper, beyond low plasma T3, local thyroid hormone metabolism during inflammation and infection. What they say is, is during acute inflammation in skeletal muscle, the gas pedal cranks up so you get more T3 inside the skeletal muscle and the break turns down. So you get less reverse T3. That's not reflected of what's happening in the serum. That's at a local tissue level. And in chronic inflammation, it seems that D2 and D3 turn up. But that's not enough. They talk about not only skeletal muscle, but the liver and adipose tissue as well. And it varies in chronic and acute inflammation. What happens in skeletal muscle in the acute inflammation phase is the opposite of what happens in the liver and adipose tissue. In the chronic inflammatory phase, there's so many different things that are happening, they're not entirely sure, which is why they say thyroid hormone action at the tissue level during illness is not a simple reflection of serum thyroid hormone concentrations. What this means is if we're measuring thyroid labs and it doesn't add up to the signs and symptoms that the patient is experiencing, well, it kind of makes sense. Now, this is kind of important. So they don't correlate when patients are healthy, but then the question is, is who's going to the doctor today, whether conventional or functional or nutritional medicine? People who don't feel well. So this is kind of important information, which is why this is the type of stuff that we teach at metabolicfitnesspro.com. We encourage you, if you want to cut through the watered down misinformation, myths of the nutritional and functional medicine industry, we bring the receipts, we show you the studies, we help you become a better practitioner to get better patient outcomes with less labs and less supplements. Head over to metabolicfitnesspro.com, check out our advanced mentorship program, drop us a line, book a call with us. We can't wait to see you. Thanks so much and God bless.